Today we are checking out one of the most affordable yet reliable and still powerful devices for gamers out there. This is from Vivo. This is the Vivo Y21T. It's an entry-level gaming smartphone with a lot of gaming features, a great battery life, good cameras, and it's only for 10,999 pesos. But right now, we are going to be doing mainly a gaming test for this video. So we're going to be testing this out today by playing some Call of Duty Mobile, as it's one of my favorite games to play on any device. And you know that for first-person shooters, having a really smooth, lag-free experience is very important to playing a good game. And very important to me also is really great graphics. I'm someone who really appreciates great visuals and I want the highest quality settings possible. But first we want to see how smooth it plays so we're going to be playing it at the recommended setting which is low to medium. Let's load this up and see how it does. Now the Vivo Y21T is one of the first smartphones in the Philippine market that is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 processor. It's got 6 nanometer process technology and clocks in at a high rate of 2.4 gigahertz. In addition to this it's also got 1 gigabyte of extension extended RAM. That's right, it's got extended RAM technology and it's the first smartphone to have this at this price range. That means you can run multiple applications at any time without any lags. You can be playing games while running apps in the background and you won't feel anything. Now as I've been playing, I can see it's really giving me the best gaming experience with really smooth gameplay no lags, no screen freezes, and also it gives me this low power consumption while gaming. That means the battery is going to last really long even if I've been playing for hours and that's because it's got a large battery capacity plus it's also got flash charge. So you can definitely game on this all day because it gives you 8 plus hours of non-stop gaming and if you're just watching HD movies, you can stream for 18 hours on a full charge. That means you'll be able to play the whole day but if it does die, you're gonna have the flash charge, which can charge up your 5000 milliamp battery really, really quick. Okay, before we go any further, I wanna adjust some of the graphic settings. Now we're gonna push everything up to the highest settings for graphics, and we're gonna see how this runs. But as we can already see, it looks so beautiful. Look at the graphics, look at all the detailing, look at that motion blur, everything looks so good. It's also got something called Ultra Game Mode, and this is perfect for any game. That's because you can pull out this control panel where you can toggle it between the performance mode where you can boost the CPU and the GPU or you can go with the balanced mode which you know balances everything or you can go with the battery saver mode which is going to conserve your battery as best as it can. Now it's also got toggles for all the gamers that way you can stop your incoming calls, notifs, you can do everything in just how you want so you won't be interrupted while you game. And finally it's got something called Multi Turbo 5.0 and this is a great gaming feature that enhances the network connections, enhances system processor speeds, and power saving performance, and it's even got a really great cooling system across all of the components to keep your phone cool even when you're gaming heavily. So all of these put together just gives this phone a great gaming experience, so if you're a gamer you might want to check this out. But of course, even as gamers, we still care about the other parts of the phone, so here's a quick rundown of some of its top features. It's got a really slim and fashionable design. I really like the way that it looks, the way that the materials feel. Really feels really premium, even at its affordable price point. Then it's also got a really great triple camera setup. It's got a 50 megapixel main camera sensor. It's also got a side mounted fingerprint scanner for an easy unlock, but it does also have face unlock using the selfie camera. Now if you want to know more about this phone, you can check out my full review linked in the description or you can click the card popping up, but do be sure to check that out for the full review. If you want to pick up the Vivo Y21T for yourself, I will also be leaving the link in the description so you can go to the product page and and purchase one for yourself. But that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed this gaming test and I hope it helped you figure out if this is the gaming phone for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again for watching and as always, I will see you back here next time as I continue to unbox everything.